guys, welcome to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. And your girl Amber. And we're back today with another reaction video suggested to us by you guys. Our amazing RSR family. But we got, y'all know what that bell means, a new artist or band for you guys today. Tell me what we got. Today we're checking out Naked Eyes, and the song is Always Something There to Remind Me. Super long title. Y'all know the slogan. We got to give the people what they want. And y'all wanted this new band, The Naked Eyes. Let's go ahead and check them out. But again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get it. I walk along the city streets you used to walk along with me. And every step I take reminds me of just how we used to be Well, how can I forget you, girl? And there is always something oh, there to remind me Always something there to remind me Shadows fall, I pass a small cafe Call me crazy, but this to me, it kind of has like like an indie type of feel to it, and, and I think that may just be like the way that he's singing, but like an indie kind of like alternative rock, I guess you would. Right. Call this. Well, see, like we're starting. I've I've loved like the '80s sound mm. since we started, but like I've started to appreciate like how different it is from what was before it. And the more we've dove into the '80s, you guys have described sounds and so many let me know if I'm right. So like, many. is this considered? the new wave 80s new wave because it does have like uh you know that that really cool where you kind of see the 80s take that turn with this the, the tone that the songs are delivered there was but so i also many, love the uh the add-ins right. that they have there were so many different sounds in the 80s yeah for sure and help recalling how it felt to kiss hold you tight Yeah, just with the songs. Uh, yeah, it's like I mean, he obviously was with this girl, and now she's with someone else, and like he sees pictures on the news. Yeah, it was like the the wedding. Yeah, and like what I think is cool is like there's a really cool part in this song, and it's '80s, so you really don't know what instrument you're exactly hearing, mm. but it almost has like that bells behind it, like the wedding bells that. Oh were in my the goodness! I'm so I. I if you know what part I'm for talking some about? Reason, I knew you were gonna bring it. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was like. It was like they're making like a like a church bell. Ha have like it was a beat. behind yeah. the, what was going on in front yeah. of it, so like it had a, a really really cool sound, and I feel like there's a lot of that incorporated into this. The chorus is really nice Dude. and fun to hear, and then there's a, a cool little beat that goes right after he finishes dun, dun, the chorus. Dun, dun, yeah. yeah, but it's like I can't sit and tell you what instruments they are because it's the '80s, so you don't. 
You didn't know where they get these really cool sounds, but they got them and they made them sound really cool in their music. My dude is hurting. He he can't he can't get away from her. You know, oh, you know, she'll he, always be a part of him. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, he, he said she'll always be a part of mm-hmm. him. You know, his heart will always be with her. And nice, she's getting married to somebody else. Cause there is always something there to remind me. I, I don't want to go without saying, and I, I noticed it through the entire thing. The drums in this were absolutely amazing. Kind of just that that backing, you know, feature that that it added on to the bells, right, and right there to the chorus, right. As well. And it was cool because it's like a really cool take on drums. I was, you know, trying to figure it out the whole time. Like it was an electronic. Uh, drum sound almost yeah oh it, it definitely sounded right electronic. but it was like it was still super appealing and it still stood out in the song really well and like in the 80s for certain things to stand out there was a lot of it you know right. what i mean there's a lot of incorporation of a lot of different sounds really cool sounds and really cool delivery and this is just another great example naked eyes we're gonna have to check out more because you guys know that Jordan loves the '80s. Uh, I, I, I do love the '80s, but that that was a lot different. Like I said, that, it almost kind of gave me that that kind of indie type of feel, just the undertone to it. And, and his and, delivery and, of how exactly. he's saying it, I his think, has a lot to do with that. And his softness, I, mm-hmm. I believe, is the main deal for that. But no, I, I really did enjoy it. So, guys, please drop down in the comments, tell us what our next Naked Eye song should be, because. I, they definitely got me intrigued, uh, you know, kind of with everything they had going on in the lead singer's voice. So yeah, I want to know. I want to know some more now. But yeah, I want to hear some mm. more really cool sounds mm. that uh, they gave mm. us in this song, and I'm sure that they'll give us in whatever we check out next. No doubt about it. But guys, that's going to be the end of today's reaction video. As we always send you guys out of here every single day, not once or twice, but three times a day. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed no matter the circumstances. And those of you that are new to the channel, you hit that subscribe button. We welcome you as family members. But you guys have a goal every day, just like we do. Tell them that goal, Mom. Well, guys, that goal is to make somebody smile. Make somebody smile. We love y'all, and we'll see y'all later.